street life and shit. I, my thing was, my problem was, I like the cars. I like, I like the cars. And um, my partner, them, I never, I never stole a car. I never stole a car. But my partner them used to, used to like rob, rob me or bump, they'll bump you, and you get out the car, give me that, give me your shit, take off and shit like that. Man, they'll bring it to me. Nah, I just drive around, like just be riding around. I ain't trying to go chop it up. I ain't trying to sell nothing, chop chop it or nothing. I'm just drive doing this shit just for for the for the heck of just really look to look live. I'm pulling up in beamers and shit. I'm tenth grade. You know what I'm saying, people? Oh wow, oh shit, oh shit like that. So I'm just doing it for the oohs and wow and shit. Really not thinking. You know what I'm saying? Really crashing like a motherfucker. And this one day, like, is it went totally crazy? Like, um, we we was going on the whole rent, right, trying to get some, trying to get some cars. We know bumping a couple cars, and none of this shit didn't go right. All the signs telling the nigga like, man, let's just go home. One of my partners I'm like, man, just take me home and shit. So I take him home. My other partner like, man, I ain't just trying to really go in without like, getting a car. So we end up going, we end up going back. I we on like Richmond, like Montrose area and shit like that. And um, shit, my partner, little partner, he had, uh, he we bumped the car. Uh, he ended up being a wrong motherfucker. He was end up being a, a law man. Uh, he was like off duty though. He was like off duty though. He was in his regular car, Jeep, clean that Jeep. Around this time, this was like when the, uh, what the, what the, what the lights called? NED? On the yeah. cars? Like, the little, you know what I'm saying? It was like those kind of lights, like when they first, the little foreign looking lights. And that shit was, that shit was live. We wanted to have, we bumped him in. And shit, he, he, he already knew it. Like, you know, the police report, he was already saying, like, he seen us following him and shit like that. So he jumped out and started shooting. Yeah. He shot my little partner and shit. He shot my little partner uh, two times. Uh, in his stomach and uh, in his stomach and in his leg, in his stomach and his leg. So y'all, so y'all going out, y'all bumping cars. When you say bumping cars, you mean jacking cars? Yeah. Pulling out, drawing down yeah, on them. Drawing down on them. Yeah, you know I'm saying okay. So y'all, so y'all been doing this, so one day y'all do it, and you draw down on this loud man. Yeah. And the nigga pull out and he start shooting. He start shooting, start dumping. Hit my little partner two times. Hit my stomach and the leg. So now like. Whole time, I'm not knowing what's going on. Cause when we bump them, I had pulled up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm already, we've been doing this shit. I, I, I usually bump them and I pull up a little bit. My partner number get in the car. I already been in the front. They don't follow me. We back to the hood. You know what I'm saying? And it didn't go like this this day. You know what I'm saying? My partner jumped out the car after we bumped them in. It was straight gunshots. We got guns too. So I'm thinking, in my head, I'm thinking like, man, I know, I know, no little bro ain't really just start dumping at this nigga or something. Maybe he ain't want to give up the keys. Maybe he ain't want to, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever the case may be. And so I'm thinking my little partner was the one shooting. Whole time, man, I, someone just telling me like, let's look back. I look back. I see, I see the dude white man glasses on. He two hand firm grip. No he a lot, man. He, uh, he pointed that bitch out the window and shit. By that time, I look back. I look partner, he went right across me. He don't even hop in the car. He went right past the car. Hit the corner. But as he in the corner, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like peeping everything, and I see blood coming down his pants. Your partner? Yeah, my partner. So I'm like, oh, he shot. Oh, shit. I'm instantly going panic mode. I'm panic. My y'all, you young niggas and shit. This is the first time shit like this ever happened. How old he was? I was like 15. Crazy. I was like 15. And, um, shit, I, uh, I'm panicking and shit, and the car I had was a 300, a Chrysler, no, but no, not a 300, a 200, the Chrysler 200, the, the, the new, it had just came up with the dial that you turn to put the car in park and drive and all that shit. So I'm put, trying to, I'm panicking and shit, I put the, actually didn't put the car in reverse, hit the gas, I mashed into the nigga car, back into his shit, we get the dump up on him, I hit the cone, I hit the same cone that I remember seeing my partner hit. So, now, now I hit the corner, I, I'm slowing down and shit, I'm looking for him because I ain't gonna leave him. Yeah, I'm a survival instinct and automatically kick in. Like, I'm like, alright, everybody gotta get back in this bitch. We gotta make it back the same way we came. I ain't gonna leave nobody out, none of that shit. So I'm waiting, I'm literally right around the corner. I'm riding slow to the bitch, three miles, five, looking for him. He finally get in the car. 
Uh, long story short, shit. We, we, uh, he, he, uh, conscious in the car after a while. He asked him where he got shot at. He tell him us his stomach and his leg and he really don't know. Shit like that. And then I, I say about like five, seven minutes after that, he ended up just going unconscious, losing too much blood. But at the time, we 15 and shit. He died. This really like the first, nah, he didn't die. This was like the first time this shit like happened, but we thought he was dead. So we like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, I'm still telling my partner, like, do something, like, do something. I'm driving, I can't do shit. I'm still there. Get a little boat, stay up, I got you, stay up, you good, you good. Shit like that. That's all, down the all I can do. I'm focused on the road, I'm running lights, all type of shit. So, um, come to a conclusion that, like, bro, this nigga dead. This nigga dead. You don't know if he's breathing. We ain't doctors. Nobody ain't putting time no night around his bullet wounds. None of that shit. So, I was just, I'm like, man, somebody just call the ambulance. They call the ambulance and shit. They ask for a location. We never had a location because we was a job. I pull over and shit. We pull over, get him out the car, get him out the car. Lay him down and shit. I go in his pockets and shit. I grab his phone. I grab the car key. Automatic push the key. Grab the car key, put it in my pocket. I tell them, I, I had a gun I had, my, my little partner the gun, I tell him go hide the gun. He go hide the gun, I hide back in the car so I can hide the car. You know what I'm saying? I go, I go two blocks away, hide the car, run back. Around, by the time I run back, you can hear the, you can hear the uh, ambulance in the distance and shit. Mm -hmm. So, like two white people, a couple, boy and a girl, they come across the street. Oh my God, this is all right and shit. Trying to help them and shit. And, um... We tell them, like, yeah, man, somebody just came by shooting and shit, woo, 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 woo. Um, you got shot and whatever, we was just walking and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Long story short, the laws ended up coming, police ended up coming and shit. And the first thing to do with ass, like, it was probably like seven, eight car. The first thing to do with ass, like, oh, well, which one of y'all was with him? So, I look around, looking, I'm trying to see who's gonna respond first. We don't know the right or wrong answer. So we like looking around and shit. One of my partners like, I was with him. My other partner like, yeah, I was with him too. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm like, no, I follow him. I'm like, yeah, shit, I was with him too. He get the click, 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 cuff us all up, all together though. Click, click. He grabbed, he cuffed them and tried to grab me. I'm like, man, what you doing? She's like, I put on the ground. She's like, who's the victim? She's like, what y'all doing and shit? So the whole time, nigga ain't knowing that the police officer already radioed these people. We didn't know he was a police officer. Hmm. We didn't know that. We just thought he was a nigga with a gun. You know what I'm saying? We ended up police reporting up, you know what I'm saying, later on and shit, finding out the facts. He had ended up dispatching saying like he this shit happened with him. So they had already knew. They was waiting on that blam car. That was a little fuck up. But shit, we ended up all going to jail. We ended up all going to jail. And you was 15. 15. 15. So that's my, that was your first time. First time ever going ever to jail. Ever going to jail, fucking with them cars, bumping mm -hmm. and shit. First time. But when you tell me, like, timeline-wise, that sounds like about the same time you started rapping. Yeah, it was. It was all, it was all around the same time. It okay. was all around the same time. All this shit was happening. So you go to jail. I go to jail when you juvenile and shit. So they hit you saying he's juvenile. Yeah, they sent me to juvenile. I was 15, I was juvenile. So what happened when the first time you went to court? When I went to court, uh, see, and I was kind of do something like, uh, you get like DHs and shit. You get a DH, uh, like every, how many days is this? Like every three days or something like that? A DH, every, like, you get like every three days. Or five days, man. Every week or something like that. Yeah, yeah. it's like every five days. Yeah, it's something like that. Days. Something like that. So, uh, um, I had my DAs, they denied me and shit. Uh, I think like my second DH, I had stayed in like a week or something. My second DH, they ended up letting me go on uh, ankle monitor. I mean, on PAT, PAT supervision. But it was my first time, I didn't know, so I never really checked in with the PAT people. So they put a warrant out for me. I ended up turning myself in. I stayed in uh, juvenile for like two months. They let me out on PAT again and actually ended up putting an ankle monitor on me and shit. And, uh, I got out, I was still fighting the case. I ain't come on man and shit. And um by this time I was like sixteen and shit. I was uh I was in an alternative school for a fight I had. So I'm at an alternative school, I ain't come on on you know what I'm saying, rapping, people know me, I'm 
known gang members to other gang members. You know what I'm saying? Beefing like a motherfucker and <laughs> can't win for losing. Not really. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Street life to getting a hold to a nigga really. Yeah, yeah. But really you grew up with the sports and everything, but ever since that first case. It just yeah. That's usually how it might happen for most niggas. Once that first case it just it make like it puts you in a position that you're not even it like it was like I couldn't even get out of this shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You weren't even old enough, mature enough to even know how to Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ever since that shit I ain't never I ain't never got out of dealing with laws like ever. Ever. Like ever. I yeah. swear, never. Ever since that I've been probation and going to jail for violating and all this other shit. Like this shit followed me the whole like this whole time. I'm on probation now. You know what I'm saying? I'm still on this shit. Yeah. You ever went to the pen? Nah, I never went to the pen. I never got convicted of anything. Just always different. Always, yeah.